What up guys, I'm at Shibuya in Alhambra and it's actually one of my favorite places to go out and eat and still be able to hit my fitness goals and we'll go inside and I'll show you why. So the reason why I love having Shabu Shabu as one of my favorite go-to fitness meals is that there's so much that is under your control but it still tastes bomb. So for example, starting with the protein, you have chuck tender, ribeye, eye of round, beef belly, chuck eye, top blade, pork belly, chicken breast. Like if you're not that restricted and you can have like 100 grams of fat, 200 grams of fat in your diet, you can get the beefiest thing in the world, but if you also need to be super lean, you can also get chicken. And also not to mention, you're cooking in a water-based broth. So a lot of the times, when you're cooking your meat, the fat is actually melting off. So even though I'm getting chicken, which will still have a little bit of fat on it, that fat is coming off. And there's been so many times where I eat shabu, I go home, I weigh myself the next day, and I'm already lighter because of how light the meal is. But the important thing is, a lot of times you eat these diet-friendly meals and it lacks flavor. But with shabu shabu, you can make your own sauces, which I'll show you in a little bit. You can put soy sauce, ponzu, you can put peppers, minced garlic, all of which is zero grams of fat. And that's a huge thing, because per gram of fat, that's nine calories. So the minute you start adding fat into the mix, which is where all the flavor is, it bumps up your calories and it can shoot you over. For me, I can stay in really good control, use none of the sauces that have fat, like ponzu. I mix it with green onions, uh, garlic, mix that all up. I only eat just my chicken, and also I get a big ass bowl full of veggies, which is good for my digestive system, and it helps keep me full. And in times like this, where I'm getting really close to my weight, I actually just minimize carbs too. So I, I probably won't even have any carbs in this meal, just so at night I can enjoy myself like a little pineapple or a mango or whatever. But depending on, um, but depending on what your fitness goals are, you can see why it's so useful to eat shabu shabu because you can literally adjust the levels. Like, do I have more fat? That's how I can use. Put in some sesame oil. Do I have more carbs? I'll eat three bowls of rice or add in some udon. And it's all you can eat protein. So you are, are literally the DJ adjusting the equalizer, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go get some veggies and I'll show you what I'll be eating. All right, so this is where the magic is made. Check out this sauce, okay? You got minced garlic, right? And I get two bowls. One trick that I use is I always ask for like the big rice bowl so you can get way more sauce because usually it comes in a, like a little plastic thing and it's never enough sauce. So I get hella garlic. I love myself some garlic. Throw in some green onions. Then I go to my ponzu section. Boom, look at that, dude. Zero fat, all the flavor, cannot go wrong. If you have a little bit more fats, obviously they got a lot of flavorful stuff, like the peanut sauce, Chinese barbecue sauce, sesame oil. On the other side, they have like the chili flake, a hot oil sauce, which I love, but I can't be having that, so this is just as good. So now you mix it up, get that flavor going. Perfect. So look, in my normal diet, I do not eat a big ass plate full of veggies like this. This is one of the reasons why I try to get shabu shabu at least once every week, if not once every two weeks, because I know I'm stuffing myself full of veggies. And I actually have a strategy. So this is boiling hot broth right now. I like getting veggies that cook at different rates. So spinach cooks really, really fast. So it's almost immediately uh, available to eat. Then I have the bok choy, and then I have the cabbage, which takes a little bit longer. And what's dope is I have all these micronutrients from all these greens and veggies all up in my food. So I know I'm eating something extremely healthy, extremely nutritious. And then you see you have the chicken. It's already pre-sliced. If you need to be really accurate, there's times where I've come here with the scale. Um, I'm doing a powerlifting meet, not a bodybuilding show, so I don't have to be that accurate. My scale is my actual scale that I weigh myself every single day that I plug into my fitness pal. So if I go slightly over, then I know to adjust my weight for the next day. But I put this in here, and then I throw like half of this plate on here. So for those of you guys who have never eaten shabu shabu, 
the way to eat is you have veggies, you got all the toppings you see over there, you stuff it into your broth, and then you pretty much just eat all of it. Like, as you're cooking, you eat it, and that's one of like the funnest parts of it. It's a very, very interactive experience. If I'm eating beef, I'll dip one piece at a time, like, because I want it medium rare. But for chicken, I'll do like the whole plate at once. And you let it soak up all that good house broth. As soon as you see the pink start turning into more of an opaque color, like it's no longer translucent, then it's uh, pretty much ready to eat. And I just give it just a little bit because it is chicken. So you're not trying to catch salmonella. And I like to see some of the bubbles bubbling around to know that it's actually at a boiling point. So yep, we got the bubbles. You got the chicken nice and nice and opaque now. You take this bad boy, put it in this thing right here, mix it in the garlic and the green onion, the ponzu. Mm. 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 Doesn't even taste like you're on a diet, dude. As you can see, I finished all my food and if you look at the broth you see all those like oily circles that's actually all the fat melting off which is cool because that means whatever fat was accounted for in the meat that I ate it's even less than that because I'm cooking in like a water-based broth so the chicken that I ate I had five plates and each of them I have to guess it would probably be around like four ounces so I probably had like 20 ounces of chicken breast which is a ton probably comes out to over 100 grams of protein, which is amazing. Had two full plates of veggies, and it's so flavorful, I didn't even need to eat carbs or anything like that, so I have my carbs wide open. So at night, I could probably eat maybe even an ice cream or um, something yummy like cereal. So this is for sure my go-to meal. So all of you guys out there uh, on your fitness journey, whether it's for powerlifting, trying to make weight, bodybuilding, trying to get lean, or you just wanna watch what you eat, Shabu is one of those spots that has uh, super flavorful food and you can adjust and according to whatever you're trying to do, you can get the ribeye, you can get the chicken breast, anything. And also, uh, for those of you guys who have a hard time hitting protein, this is a good way. And the other additional way is of course, our brown sugar boba that you can get at barbellbrigade.com. After this, when I go home, I'm probably gonna pound a double scoop of protein and that leaves my dinner wide open for almost whatever I want. I could probably go to get go to CPK and get a full on pizza and still be within my calories, you know? So you can make tracking calories a fun thing. Make it a game and still hit your goals. See you guys next time. Peace.